How y'all doing? Well, it's Tuesday where I'm at. I think it's Tuesday where you're at, too. Anyway, it's late in the afternoon, about 3 o'clock my time. And, uh, ooh, I've had a busy day. I've uh, had to go pick up some uh, T-shirts printed so we could get those in the mail to y'all that are waiting on T-shirts. And uh, had to go get my truck inspected, had to go get my license plates and renewed and everywhere you go you gotta wait so I uh, had a good opportunity today to stop by and see a buddy of mine probably haven't seen him in three or four months now his name is Maestro and I'm gonna have him on the show me and him uh, talked about it today he's at his mama's house right now but uh, me and Maestro have been friends for a while he's gonna send me a music video that was shot right here in Corpus Christi that's what he does. He's into music, and uh, and I'm gonna share it so uh, y'all can see see what kind of work he does. He's pretty good. Anyway, before I left the house this morning, the talk was all about how the little Dick, little Donnie Junior Dick, has uh, got his ass in a sling there, meeting with that Russian lawyer, and uh, taking Jared Kushner and uh, Paul Manafort along. You know, like we was talking about yesterday. He didn't know who he was going to see, just some meeting with some lady and, uh, come on, let's everybody go, that's bullshit. Everybody knows it's bullshit. But, uh, he tweeted out different stories and shit and then finally put out, you know what needs to happen with these assholes? They need to, uh, put them under oath. Under oath. Let's, let's put them under the oath so that way they can give their story one time and we know, well, that's the story we're going to go to. That way they don't get to change it every damn time you turn around. About adoption. Are you shitting me? He has no more interest in adoption than the man in the moon. And that's just bullshit that he's trying to sell. But the mere fact that he agreed to a meeting, because evidently there's uh, there's some emails out there. There's emails inviting him to the meeting. And the pretense of the meeting is that they have dirt on Hillary Clinton and it's from the Russian government. I haven't read the whole email yet. I ain't been home. But that's the gist of it. And uh, my immediate thought is, uh, well, why didn't he call the FBI? You have a Russian agent trying to contact you about information on, an, on a U.S. citizen. So, uh, you know, best thing to do to everybody would be call the law. Call the law and say, hey, they're trying to do some shit. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that, neither did Paul Manafort, neither did Jared Kushner. They all sat in that damn meeting on June 9th and uh, had a nice little discussion, I guess. I'd sure like to hear what was said in there. And uh, if you put enough pressure on one of them old boys, put enough pressure on old Paul Manafort, you just threaten his ass with a whole lot of prison time, he'll start singing. And Because uh, why would he want to give up his shit just for... Uh, Somebody with the Trump name smeared all over. But, uh, oh, look at here. I got a pass on a truck here. Got himself a freaking... One of them, uh, rebel flag motherfuckers. Asshole. Thinks he's cool, I guess. Got lots of bumper stickers on there. I hate that shit. Tells me there's ignorant people around me. Anyway, I just left the post office. Look at here. I got a package. I got a package from Mike and Sue Poole in Yorkshire, England. I haven't opened it yet because I don't open these things until I get home. It's a, it's a wee thing with Mama. It's not just an I thing. Mama puts in a lot of work into this. and uh, So I don't open the mail unless we're both sitting there ready to take a look at what's inside. But it's a... He said they were making something special for me, so I'm really interested to see what it is. And uh, I'm real proud that we have blue dots around the world. It really surprised me when I saw the numbers on the times that uh, that my videos have been translated almost a million times. That's uh, that's a pretty big deal to me, man. Uh, I'm an old man. I'm way too old to get this. You know, all of a sudden you have that kind of visibility. And uh, whoo. Humbling, I'm telling you, but uh, I sure enjoy it. And I'm glad we're getting our voice out, and that 
tells me if that many people out there are listening to it, that's that many people out there agreeing with us. And uh, we have a lot of support from around the world, and I'm just tickled to death with that. Well, I sent my letter to Orrin Hatch today, and before I did, I I corrected my misspelling. So, Orrin is spelled with two R's. Man, when you try to write too fast, you just get it phonetically. But I changed it before I left. I uh, sent it to him. I hope uh, I hope a lot of you out there, I hope almost most of you, wrote a letter to Orrin Hatch and sent it to him in Utah there, so we can get his attention. And. Uh, and we'll wait a couple of days, let everybody get caught up with that, and then we'll announce somebody else. And we're going to keep doing this shit until we hit them all. And uh, there's, I'm getting messages and, and stuff from people wanting me to call out their congressman or their senator or their governor. And uh, I, I, I just think it is. I think it's a great idea. And uh, we're all writing letters to our congressman. Let's throw in everybody else's congressman in there, too. And... Uh, I'm supporting uh, Jerry Wallace in this, and when I write a letter to the next one, I'm going to call out, I'm supporting my friend, not on the letter, I don't want to call you out to your governor or anything, but uh, on my post, I'm going to call out that I'm supporting that person in their district, trying to change America for, for return America to its former glory, before this asshole Trump got in there, made our country take us down several steps on the popularity. Well, not America, just Trump. Just that asshole that's in our office. I seen where the Australian press put out a statement on there and called, just did that, called him unfit, unfit to be president of this country. And they're right. Made a little comment in there that he don't even read. He doesn't read. That's how come he doesn't get the intel. That's not, that's how come he doesn't get all sorts of information. He don't want to read that. If it's not on Fox and Friends in the morning or Barney Rubble in the, in the game or on the Cartoon Network, I don't think he gets any information. That bullshit of him texting everything out about Fox and Friends in the morning every day, that's a little sick, Donnie. You're showing your love affair with Fox News. That's just pitiful. Bullshit mountain, baby. That's where, that's where Trump deserves to be, right on the top. The big turd on top of Bullshit Mountain, which is Fox News. That's where our president dick is. And, uh, and he's happy there. He's just as happy as he can be. He thinks he's got all the backing of the world. He has no interest in all the investors go investigate. He's too busy stealing money. That's what his problem is. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to get a show done. If I do, it's going to be late. And, uh, make sure ain't nobody coming here. I damn sure don't walk out the wreck and have video evidence of me screwing up. Never happened, people. I'm 64 years old, and I've never had a wreck in my life. And uh, I did get hit by a deer. I got hit by the deer, mind you. It was on that side over there, slammed right into the side panel of my truck, and airbags went off everywhere. Scared the crap out of me and my kids. We was on our way to work worked together on a construction project one time and uh, I enjoyed that ride back and forth to work with my kids enjoy watching them all day sweat and dad over there having to do a job but not the job they were doing and uh, that's good for them that's good for them it was a good job but uh, we were on our way to work and uh, all of a sudden the airbag goes off my son screams and I see this red liquid go everywhere I didn't know he was drinking a red soda pot in the morning and uh, I thought it was blood buddy I I shut this machine down pretty quick anyway it was a deer and that's the only time I've ever been in a wreck and uh, I plan on keeping it that way people drive safe everywhere you go keep your eye on the road mind your business you'll have the same result so, y'all do that because I like having my friends around in the meantime I'm going to let y'all go because I am getting a little traffic here. A little dump truck up here. We have, uh, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of trucks that have a tendency to pop out of a side road because they do gravel work around here a lot. And uh, I don't want to pass him and get in front of him because I'm going to turn pretty soon. Anyway, I'll try to get my show up. If I don't, we'll be here tomorrow. And, uh, oh, Lord, look at that.
there. He's letting me pass, so we're going to pass him. And that's what they do here. They want you to get around. They don't want you behind them. And we'll give them a little flash with our lights. Tell him, thank you, buddy. We appreciate that. And again, that's what they do here in Texas. Nobody wants to hold anybody up if they can help it. If there's a clear path way ahead of them where they can move over to the shoulder safely, well, that's what they do. And uh, people like me appreciate it. So, y'all take care. I'll see you in a little while. Bye now.